Ariel Helwani post fight at UFC 140 with the pride of Long Island City, New York, and the man who just picked up his first UFC win, John Cholish. And uh, John, congratulations on a very impressive and dominant performance. Uh, it took you a while to get here, and you always said, you know what, if I never get here, I'm okay with it. But how do you feel picking up your first UFC win? Um, it feels pretty great. It's exciting uh, to finally be able to get inside the octagon in front of the greatest crowd uh, our sport has to offer and uh, pull off the win. Now, what did you think going into it? I mean, did, did this feel like your typical MMA fight or considering the magnitude of this, were you a little more nervous? To be honest, the hardest part was uh, figuring off the extra days off of work because they make us come up here on Tuesday. So I had to figure that out. But it's, uh, I knew it was the first fight, so the crowd wasn't going to be that big. Uh, there wasn't much pressure on me, and it's just to go out there and have a fun time. It always comes back to work with you, right? You always have to throw that in there. It's the main thing. That's what, that's what gets everything else uh, paid for and done. Without that, I wouldn't be here. I think I saw the John Cholish uh, uh, you know, work contingency back there because there was like a group of very well-dressed 30-something-year-old guys cheering for you, and I'm guessing they were coming from New York to cheer for you, right? We, uh, we did have some clients and some traders come up here, uh, so I was glad that they were able to come and definitely glad I was able to get a win, so hopefully I can uh, pull some trades out of them on Monday. Now, are you going back to work on Monday? Yes, I'll be in the office on Monday, 6 a.m. So. No vacation? No, no time off to celebrate? Tuesday through <laughs> Friday was my vacation time, so i got to get back in there on Monday. Is it paid vacation, or is this part uh, no, come no. out? Uh, Tuesday through Friday was paid vacation, but can't take any extra days. All right, let's talk about the finish. Uh, you know, Joe Rogan was giving you a lot of compliments, just the way you were able to take his back and, and finish that way. How did you set that up? Um, well, I knew Mitch was going to be a really tough opponent. He was undefeated um, and also had a great wrestling background. He had a deep single leg, uh, so I looked to attack the Kimura first, then try to transition to the arm bar. Uh, he defended both very successfully, and fortunately I was able to come out on top, uh, secure back mount, and then just uh, finish by a TKO. So let's say you go on a five-fight winning streak now, maybe six. Any chance you leave that job? No, sir. Never? So I mean, uh, it's all economical. If the money gets up there, you know, it would be great, but right now I just don't see that happening. And you did walk out wearing the Yankees hat. I'm assuming at some point you'll get a sponsor who'll say, can you wear our hat? Uh, Yankees hat since the first fight, going to be a Yankees hat. Just got to represent where I'm from. And hopefully uh, it'd be nice to wear a Yankees hat inside Madison Square Garden one day. That would be awesome. I'm a little disappointed, though, no Justin Bieber walking. I mean, after everything you've been saying about him, you're in Canada, you're in his home province. That's a little weird. It would have been nice. Uh, I did go with a little dubstep uh, house meet to, to come out to, but uh, I did do karaoke Never Say Never uh, two weeks ago, so I did feel pretty good about that. You won. Give us a few lines from Never Say Never. I think uh, it's only I, appropriate. I can't do it. No, no. I, I got to warm up the lungs. All right. Well, uh, congratulations. We'll go out and get it. Congratulations, and I look forward to that. We look forward to your next fight Thank as well. Thank you, Ariel.